We're going to be recording Edison Record 10,300, The Dancing Girl by Sousa's Band, onto an Edison phonograph. This is equipped with a flywheel. It's equipped with a trunnion with a Edison studio recorder. This little device here is called the Advanced Ball Adjustment. It's a micrometer adjustment. Underneath is a sapphire ball that rides ahead of the cutting stylus or in advance of it, thus advanced ball, or um, some of it call it a trailing recorder is what this is called. In England, they call it a trailing recorder. And it was pretty much used in recording studios only. It was not meant for home use. So uh, we're going to record Sousa's band onto this cylinder record. So, that's the Edison Studio Recorder with the flywheel, and we will play this selection back. We are going to play back um, our Sousa selection. Uh, it was recorded somewhere around 19, 1910. Uh, at that time, they didn't use any longer announcements. It was in the 10,000 series of the gold molded records, as, as said previously, and um, was available on the gold molded type records with the hard 
material similar to a, a, a wax and merle record. That means it was made in a spun molding machine. At, and the late era of wax production, the mold was uh, put in a machine. It was first heated in these little cubby hole round heaters. And the mold stuck in the heater, heated up until it's warm. Then it went into a machine that had rollers, rubber rollers. And first it was squirted with the exact amount of, of the metallic soap formula. And it was spun down to the other end, the mold. And it was removed and then put on a lathe where it made the ribs on the inside of the record and put on, uh, then extracted, put on metal cores for several hours and then they were pressed out and that was the finished record of how they made the late gold molded and the Edison wax amber all records. Uh, but this is our dubbing uh, using the original studio recorder. It has a seven and a half thousandths of an inch glass diaphragm and uh, copper stylus holder. The stylus was made uh, by a company for us around 2001. Uh, we would hope sometime to have enough interest. Uh, if you contact Chuck Richards, uh, it would be great to have more runs of these cutting styluses as they were the most accurate cutting stylus in modern times made. The cut point center uh, stylus with the very sharp edges, and that is what we use here, uh, based on the original Edison cut point center recorder design. Uh, let's, with further ado, let's play the selection. tell most of the service noise you heard was from the original gold molded record. When the gold molded record ended, you heard almost no noise. That is the new blank proprietary formula and process they put together recently. Based on some elements of the Richards Laboratory blank with some of my own recent discoveries about how certain elements are combined in the formula now making them very fine recording blanks and I believe that's a pretty good sound. Uh, thank you for watching. This is, I'm Sean Borey, and you're at the North American Phonograph Company. The oldest name in sound recording started July 14, 1888.